Good afternoon. Welcome to the Southbridge Public Schools uh, 4 o'clock January 10th meeting at Charlton Street School. Again, we're at one of our schools enjoying um, the library so that I can have a little fun looking at kids' books. Uh, Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Aaron DeMillo. Present. Timothy Messier. Present. Kathy Lapiori. Present. Uh, Sparrow Thomo called and said that he would probably be late. Uh, Wallace McKenzie also said that he hoped he'd make it, but he wasn't sure. And Martini Shea, present. Mm -hmm. We have some minutes to be approved. Uh, I think you all got them in a packet just now. They're pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We have the one from October 11th, the one from November 15th, and the, one, the last one at the high school for December 13th. Okay. Do I have a motion for the October 11th school committee meeting minutes? Okay. Do I have a second? Second. Any comments, any changes? All in favor? Anyone opposed? It's unanimous. Okay, the school committee meeting minutes for November 15th. This was at the council chambers. Uh, Any questions? Motion I, to accept minutes. Most, do I have motion to upset? Do I have a second? Second. Any comments? Changes? Can I just yes. make a quick question? Um, has anybody communicated with Andrew as to whether the four o'clock meetings are really difficult? We'll talk about that later. Okay. That's on, on, on my list of things to do. Okay. Uh, everybody in favor? In the last minutes for uh, December 13th at the middle school, do I have a motion to accept? Motion to accept. Do I have a second? Second. Kathy, any comments? All in favor? Thank you. Citizens Forum, do we have anyone from the community who wishes to address the school committee on anything that is not on today's agenda? One more time, do we have anybody from the committee or the town who would like to speak to the school committee? Hearing none. Now, the Charlton Street School presentation. All right, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity this afternoon to introduce uh, the principal of Charlton Street School, Ms. Audrey Williams. Um, I believe in a moment she's going to take you on a tour so you can see um, some of the 21st century classes in action. And then when we come back, she will um, share some information she put together about her school. I think you're going to see she's very proud of the work that's been done here in Charlton Street School. Um, it's certainly leading us in many really positive directions. For those of you who are confused, as I often am, um, if you watched our last school committee meeting, we adjourned for just a few minutes, walked around the building, saw some of the students work, um, and uh, the teachers had their doors decorated, and on uh, Facebook, I commented that they were really, truly better in person. So I'm sure this will be a, a good, meeting. Uh, I'd like to uh, 
move to adjourn temper till we take our tour and then come back? Do I have a motion to adjourn? For motion to adjourn. Second. Second. We call the meeting back to order. We just had a great tour of uh, in the cafeteria, the kids were making volcanoes, and they were doing an awesome job. Now we're going to have the presentation from the Charlton Street School, letting us know all the good things that are going on. Audrey. Here at Charlton Street, we have a mission of um, a child-centered approach where we want to work with the whole child and have the academic affair, total growth, and um, a whole person. So all of their needs, all of their excitement, all of their contributions, all of the characteristics and personalities that they bring to our school. <coughs> Here at Charlton Street, we are family. So this is a picture of our family tree and every staff member in our building is up on this family tree, including our district leaders, our custodial staff, our kitchen staff. So everyone who was in the building is a part of our family here at Charlton Street. We do have some key initiatives that we work on here that go right alongside with the district initiatives. Um, our literacy instruction, we have an attendance initiative, math instruction, and our culture and climate student initiatives. Um, underneath, you'll see the few things that we do um, use and work on to work towards building those initiatives up and improving them. Yes. So attendance is one of our initiatives in our school and along with the district. So here are some photos of things that we do to improve attendance and incentivize attendance. So um, students receive perfect attendance certificates along with pencils. Um, each time that we give out the certificates, it's a different incentive. There's not always a pencil. Sometimes there's bracelets, keychains, just little uh, items for the students to have for their perfect attendance. Um, these are whole class rewards. So this class had the highest attendance for that month in their class and they chose to have a pajama party. Um, so that's them celebrating. And then here we have some little things. This is a note. Um, if we do a home visit and we aren't able to reach them, we leave them a note letting them know why we came. We just wanted to connect with our contact information and also a little door hanger for the people who don't have mailboxes right at their doors of their homes. Some other attendance initiatives, we have Movie Monday, where um, if you're just here at school on Monday, you get to join in in a movie for lunchtime in the cafeteria. Um, the kids get really excited to see what that is going to be. It's always a surprise every Monday, so just for coming to school, you get to participate in that um, reward. And then also we thank our students every day with Panther Bucks um, for coming to school. So as they enter the building, no matter which entrance they're coming in, walkers, car, drop off, or bus, they're thanked for coming to school, for being responsible and getting here. Um, here are some visuals of reading for fun. We have students who really enjoy reading, so we like to um, use that to our advantage and working with them and just fostering the love of reading. So this photo and this one here is a book tasting where the students got to go around and at different tables were different genres of books. So they could just sample a few pages out of the book to see if there was something they would be interested in reading on their own or what kind of books they would really like. And then this is the board that we walked by and that was just getting everyone to see that you could read from anywhere. Reading can be fun, it could be done no matter where you are. You don't only have to read here at school. We use PBIS here at school, our positive behavior incentive program. Um, our three pillars are respect, responsibility, and safety. That is the Charlton Street way. Um, we use it in every aspect of our school, the cafeteria, the bus, it's an extension of us. This 
visuals here just break down our PBIS. So students are rewarded with Panther Bucks for their positive behaviors and we reinforce them by thanking them and giving very specific praise for being respectful, responsible, and safe in all different aspects of our building. And these are some PBIS approaches that we use. So everyone receives um, tier one and then we move in. If they need more, there are more um, interventions and tiers that we can provide them for support. Every classroom in our building has what we call a chill zone and that's just a place where students can go to take breaks and process emotions, feelings, thoughts. There are um, visuals for them to identify how they're feeling or what they may need and then resources that they could use within their classroom to help them. We also like to provide some supports for our staff as well. So these are our warrior pictures. Each week we have warriors, so staff can nominate other staff members and thank them for following the Charlton Street way, providing support to one another. And we use a Google Classroom as well to do that, where we can provide updates for staff, but staff can provide resources and communicate with other staff members in the building and share resources. <coughs> Some other PBIS and, um, things that we do here, we allow the student ambassadors for PBIS and they provide shout outs for their peers, their classmates, for following the Charlton Street Way so they can acknowledge their peers for following the Charlton Street Way. The students can buy things from the school store. Um, one of our most popular items is extra special time. They love going to gym, art, music, technology. These Panther Bucks here are the ones that our students give to each other. And then we also host a talent show each year where the students can perform and show their talents. Each month we host a spirit day. Um, so these are just some pictures to show those things. Um, we had Santa come in this year. This is a morning meeting, a spirit day um, for the beach, pajama day. We had Grinch day. This was at the community event right before school started. Luau day. This year we had a cookie bake off for staff. Um, so our team is very competitive and that was just a great way to get the staff all together. And up here you can see Officer Dot and came to our medically fragile room to wish one of our students a happy birthday who has a really good relationship with Officer Dotton. This year we hosted a back to school event and at that back to school event we were able to supply families, students, anyone in need um, with backpacks, books, coats, hats, gloves, um, there were games and activities going on at that time. We had hamburgers and hot dogs, so we were able um, to reach out to the community, make some good relationships, check in on students, and um, just get to see everyone before school started. This year at Open House, we invited not only our families of the students attending school to come in, but we also invited community partners to come in and share their resources. So places like New Beginnings, Head Start, um, the Webster Adult Education Program, Catholic Charities, they all came in and shared their resources and met some of our families. Here are some images from our holiday com community connections, um, different community resources, donated many holiday gifts and items for our families. Um, the same for Thanksgiving. Our families were provided with turkeys and all of the fixings for a dinner as well. We also have City Connects in our building, and um, our City Connects coordinator makes lots of connections with the community, and she builds a bridge between the community and our families to provide them and connect them with any resources that they may need within the community, within our school. 
and then you guys got to see the 21st Century Program. This is one of their showcases that they've actually done. And that's Charlton Street School. those on Facebook. I love the fact that this year we're getting more um, into the, the local community because I know these great things are going on but I don't always see them but this year I've been seeing them and thank you for that. I'm just wondering um, what the uh, back to school first day of school thing. I'm, uh, I was curious about the, uh, the partnerships that you were able to build um, is that through the work of City Connects, or was that by committee process, or? Um, a little bit of both, City Connects, and the partnerships that they have, and just other people that, once they saw about it, reached out to us and were wanting to participate. Sure. I just think that that's an awesome idea. That's actually one of the things. I actually spoke to my barber to see if he was interested in doing something like that with the high school, if, if that ever started. Um, awesome. <clears throat> and he said he'd be interested, and so I think that that is a super idea to get things going uh, on the right foot before, you know, the craziness of everybody gets to school yeah. and getting kids to be excited about the start of school and getting them the things that they need without worrying that they don't have what they need. So that's a super, super, super planning idea that you guys put together. Awesome. So maybe we can connect this summer. I would love to help out if, if I could, so if uh, you want to just keep me in mind. Absolutely. Keep the whole school committee in mind. We will. Um, I just had a couple quick questions. One was um, just interested in hearing more about the student ambassadors. What exactly is that? So the student ambassadors are our role model students in the building. It was open to every student in the building. They applied to be an ambassador, a role model student, and they will help carry out the PBIS, the three key initiatives. Um, so they got letters of recommendation from teachers, they went through an interview process, and this is our third year, so each year we add on to the ambassadors that are already there, so hopefully we're building up many role model students for each grade level, and then they help with school-wide events, planning, um, they give our team feedback based off of what their peers are saying. They provide us what the things that they want to work for, things they would like to see in the school store, and events that they want us to host. Okay, thank you. Uh, now that you're saying that, I'm kind of having a, a maybe memory of hearing a little bit about that at West Street too. Um, and one other question that, that I had, which um, <coughs> I don't know if this is directly something you'd be familiar with, but somebody in the community had actually asked me about this, whether our school funding is connected with attendance. Like, do we take an average of how many kids are in school each day throughout the year in order to come up with our funding for the district? So the school funding, uh, Chapter 70, is determined by enrollment. So it's okay. the October 1 enrollment, so the number of kids who are attending school on October 1. Uh, you know, regularly attending. They can be absent on October 1, but if they were here previously and we assume they're going to be here the next day, they'd be counted. So there's not a direct correlation between the number of students we have attending, say on average, and funding that we get? No, there's an expectation that you work to 100% daily attendance. Sure. Now we know that's never happened. Um, this district historically has been about 93% daily attendance. Uh, I'd like to see us get to 95 to 98 percent daily attendance. Okay. Might have been one more question. I think it was just the same thing as Tim that I was curious about um, how businesses or organizations could help out with like the open house or things like that. So so if a if a group wanted to help out with that they would reach out to you at this point. So the, the work that Charlton Street did in organizing its before school events actually then led to similar events at West Street and at mm -hmm. Eastford Road. Um, so they kind of started a, a nice little tradition. I would say any, in, any business in town that is interested, they can always reach out to the building principal, um, but we also have a director of operations and the superintendent's office who can help coordinate. We like to make sure we give those folks the credit that's due when they do volunteer and, and support us. So we're going to make sure we keep track of it. Okay, thank you.
Any more questions? Any more comments? I have one more. One more. Okay. I guess my next question uh, to the to that point um, would be: When would the the planning process be for next year's uh, back to school thing begin? Just, just so that I, I know. I would say if, that, if just so I know when when to you know. Yeah, I would say if someone's interested in, they should reach out sometime by the end of June. Um, there's a lull in the beginning of July, and then August is a really busy month for schools. So planting the seed in June is a great time to do so. Uh, principals spend a lot of time in the summer, even when they're away, thinking about, okay, what's the next year going to look like? Thank you. Anything else? Ms. Williams, thank you very much. Um, it's great to be in Charlton Street School. Great to hear what your kids are doing. And I thank you for your presentation. Uh, chairman's announcements. Okay. <coughs> Our February meeting will be back in the town hall at 7 o'clock. Uh, several of our members are having trouble making a 4 o'clock in the afternoon uh, meeting. So we're going to try to move them around. I know it means that uh, possibly this year we will not visit the high school in Eastford Road. Depends on how the schedule goes. Um, but we'll, we'll be back next year. I very much like this going to the schools and seeing people. So if we didn't hit your school this year, I, I'm sure it'll be even better next year. Thank you very much. Uh, we did, um, and I was walking down the hall, we were looking at pictures of books that the kids are reading. Uh, I want to comment the middle school for having a uh, reading during winter vacation. Um, every child was given a handout and like a little check box, and if they uh, read for 20 minutes a day, they would get cocoa and I saw today on Facebook that they were getting their cocoa and I also read for 20 minutes a day I read a middle school book called Out of My Mind by Sharon Draper and I would recommend it highly to anybody uh, we're going to have lots and lots of work to do um, I'm sure you've seen online that um, we're going to be in receivership for another three years. That will be make a, a total of 10. I'd like to see us start working as a group with the state, with Dr. Villar and with each other and with the rest of the community and the town council to um, make this the last um, redo of our receivership. Just keep us in mind. Any other comments? Anybody have anything that they would like to add to my minutes? Um, just a comment that the next meeting would be February 14th. Sounds right. At 7 o'clock. Are we sure we want to do that? We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll dance in and dance out. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll check. I'll look at uh, Dr. Villar and I will look at the schedule and chat with you people, but it will, it will be in the evening so that okay. um, some of our members who are having trouble attending will be able to attend. It's really not fair to them. N you know, they've been elected, duly elected by the community and very much want to take part in the school committee's comings and goings. Any other questions? You didn't get hot chocolate? You didn't get cocoa for reading your... I did not, but I did it at home. See, you had to have your mother sign. Oh. Yeah. I tried to get the chairman of the school committee to sign, but she, she wouldn't <laughs> believe me. Anything else today? Okay. I have, I have a question. Okay. Uh, they mentioned previously that uh, it, was, it was mentioned previously that they have gym. Do they have a full-time physical education instructor that does this, or do, do the classes do this? No, we, we have physical education. Oh, good, good. That's important. Um, physical education is one of the subjects that the state mandates. 
I was listening to another community talk about scheduling uh, for next year and they said, just kept reminding people that you can't cut out physical education. It is one of the th things that is mandated by the state. Well, it's also a situation where the kids uh, are not seated at a desk continuously. They get to move around, they get to release a little bit of activity, you know, or energy. Mm -hmm. So I think that's good. Thank you. Anything else? Hearing nothing, I would like a, a motion to adjourn. Hmm. Molly, second. Aaron, all in favor? All opposed? Thank you very much.